Since keywords are used to make sure you get the separation you want, it's important that you check these from time to time to make sure you do not have any mistakes in your database. When you open Dataset, Library, Keywords, use the drop-down to pick the keyword you want to review. We'll use Artist Keywords in our example. As you look down the list, you want to look for not only misspellings, but instances where the name is close, but not the same. Here we have a few different spellings of Trace Adkins, Garth Brooks, and Brooks and Dunn. You can use Lookup to see which one has more instances, or you can simply type over the one that is incorrect. When you press Enter, a message will appear indicating the keyword exists, and would you like to combine it? Say yes. Here's an example of keywords where the spelling is close, but not the same. We'll do the same procedure again to combine the entries. Keep in mind that each entry is considered separate and distinct, so these keywords we have corrected could theoretically have been played back to back with no artist separation violation. This isn't a project you have to do often or all at once. However, if you ever see any problems with keyword separation, this is the place to fix it since the changes made here will be made on song cards throughout the database. One last thing, when you're done, select Tools, remove unused keywords, and this will delete the mistakes from your database.